These movies are brutal. Hi guys, welcome to Cinema Seth, where I talk about movies. Um, today I'm actually filming back to back because I just want to get these videos out there. I actually filmed my ranking video for 007. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually going to be coming out before this one. So, go watch that. And, um, so today we're going to be talking about... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Original versus remake. So the way I'm going to be putting these up against each other um, is by whether it, um, how well it's made, how scary it is, and um, how good the acting is with like the main character girl and all this stuff. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about the 1974 version. This movie is very low budget, but it still has a very artistic feeling to it, if that makes any sense. They took so much time, I watched a documentary on it, they took so much time for every shot that people were getting sick because they had to do reshoots and everything just like stunk everything up and um, it was like a really miserable set to be on. And I guess that means that the acting is pretty good because um, they were actually miser miserable in, um, on set. So I guess that kind of look at the remake now on how well it is made. The remake came out in 2003 and stars um, Jessica Biel as Aaron Hardesty. And um, this is a very... Um, 2000s movie let's just put it like that they had a lot of remakes coming out then which i'm going to be covering a lot of those remakes versus the original soon but um this is a very 2000s ish movie um very early 2000s like you know different horror movies that came out then like saw yeah like that sort of style to them i don't know how to explain it oh i'm also going to be talking about story so, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre follows five friends in a van. They are going down the um, rural roads of Texas. They um, pick up a hitchhiker. The hitchhiker is psychotic. Um, they um, meet the, these different people along the way. Then they find themselves trapped and trapped in um, the hands of a cannibal family. I know, brutal. Um, well, the tagline to this movie is who will survive and what will be left of them. So, which leads me on to my next thing. The survivor, or the main character, I, sh I should put it, and the acting overall. The acting in the original is actually... Mm, it's okay. There's some very cheesy parts to it. Um, I might be able to find a clip. <laughs> the survivor her name is Sally and um, she's played by Marilyn Burns um, she's she kind of she kind of has like this Western accent sort of and she goes through some stuff let me just tell okay, you so first of all this is going to be filled with spoilers throughout I'm sorry I didn't rec I didn't tell that in the beginning but um, she watches her brother get murdered she runs through a forest she gets um she's seeing all this stuff she sees two dead corpses in an attic um she jumps out of a window falls to the ground she gets tied to a chair she gets hit with a broom slapped she gets hit with a hammer on the head it's like mm, she gets like cut on the back a bunch of times and the amazing thing is that there's like barely any blood like compared to like other I'm so sorry about that I've been having a lot of technical difficulties today but 
um, where was I? Shoot. Oh, right. Like, compared to other movies today, um, there's barely any blood in this movie. Like, maybe, like, splattered on the wall or maybe, but not compared to other movies the today. Remake follows five, um, group, a group of teens, five groups, I don't know, um, five teenagers in a van in the 70s, and they pick up a hitchhiker. Well, they, she's not really a hitchhiker. She's, um, well, they did pick up a hitchhiker. Her name is Pepper. And, um, so they pick up this girl, and she shoots herself in the head, which, that's a big thing. So she kills herself in their van. Nobody in the town will help them. A sheriff comes along, and it's, like, very, very weird. And they're just trying to get help, and then they find themselves, um, wrapped up in this spider web of, um, you can't trust anybody, basically. There's still Leatherface in that movie, but it is a very, it's, it's not very, it's just kind of different from the original, which I get, which, um, is a good thing. And she is a fighter. Um, Sally kind of just screamed and ran. She didn't, I don't remember her actually trying to fight in that movie. Like, I know that, like, she would, like, struggle to try and get free. But Aaron doesn't really have any, any of it. She is kind of like the hero of the movie, though she wasn't able to save anybody except for maybe a baby. Or she kicks the, these people. She um, yells at them. She's um, uh, she cuts Leatherface's arm off. Um, but he's chasing her with a chainsaw. And what do you expect? And I love the female lead in this movie. Um, yeah, so the characterization in this, um, these movies is very good. I honestly, this is, like, very hard because these movies are very, very good. I would definitely recommend you watch these. <sighs> so, now it's down to the decision on which one is better, the original or the remake. So, based on what I have said, <sighs> I think I have to say the remake. I don't know, there's just something about it. Let me know what you think about these two movies down in the, the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share my videos with everybody, and um, yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. I have not planned it out. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!